Hey YouTube, this is another deck in London that I'm making today. This is Majestic Kids, which is basically my daddy daycare or child's play deck, but uses uh, the dragon synchros instead of the junk synchros and the synchron synchros. Alright, being that this deck is called Majestic Kids, Majestic Dragons in here because I have to use Majestic synchros so I can use one of them. I have many ways to get this guy out, not just one. Morphin Jar for hand replenishing and hand knockout. Gorge is almost in every deck nowadays. Me, I don't really like Blackwing Gale. There's a lot of better other tuners out there, but he's just in here as a placeholder. This deck is not finished yet. One year Space and Grimmel, used for taking care of problem monsters and stuff like that. Two level eaters. Now, let's take a short moment to talk about this guy. He's an underestimated monster, pretty much. You don't really see him in a lot of decks. I haven't seen him in any but my own. He's a dark level 1 insect, 600 attack, basically junk warrior, you can get a big, good 600 off this guy alone. You can drop one level 5 or a little higher monsters you control is level by 1 and summon this guy from your graveyard and he can only be used for a tribute summon. Now you have a whole bunch of level 5 monsters on the field or higher and you have at least a couple tuners on the field. You can bring two of these guys back in synchro. I mean, this, level 1s and level 2s make the best synchro material in this game. Level 3s are the next best and level 4 are the easiest for level 8s. But when you have level 1s and 2s, you can make a lot of variety. So people need to, to break away from whatever the meta is using and start thinking for themselves and take advantage of what cards that are out now. Okay, I got two Dirt Sea Rescues. These are in here until I get Tuning Wear, which is way better than this guy. I got two dandelions. Again, uh, good. This is good for debris dragon targeting. Basically, black rose or synchro with a token for a level eight. Basically, what I would do is synchro with him and the token he makes to make my uh, stardust or red dragon to sync the token that he made again with majestic dragon and make the majestic synchro. One of the best tuners in the game so far is debris dragon, and I'm in three of these. Everybody pretty much knows he's four, so I ain't gotta go on further with that. The next best turn in the game is Drunk Synchron. I use three of him. He's similar to Debris Dragon, but he gets a monster based on level, not attack. Okay. Three Hero Kids. The reason why this deck is called Majestic Kids because the deck actually revolves around Hero Kid. He's, a, like you said, level two. Can be can summon multiple copies of himself when he's special summon, and he's good synchro material. He's also good for bumming up Jump Warrior. Now, Junk Synchron and Debris Dragon will negate his effect from bringing more out, so I have to use other ways to bring him out like that. World Warrior, etc. Giant Trinity for Backfield Clearance, Wish Burial. This is the level eater or um, Desert Dragon Desert Dragon or Dead Line to the Grave. Monster Born to get stuff back. Part of Avarice, I'm supposed to have two of these in here. Couldn't find the other one. That's I hate commons because I'll end up throwing them in a box and can't find them later. I wish I kept the hollow one I had because I always keep my hollow in a binder where I can keep track of them so I won't lose them. So I actually kind of really feel I'm kind of pissed about that because I not a little don't feel like looking for it. I know I threw it in the box somewhere. One for one is this is to get level eater and adjust the dragon to the field faster. Two MSTs, being that heavy storm's ban, which I don't understand why, really. Two MSTs. Since synchro, when you have a synchro that you basically have a lot of weak monsters at times, so fissures is a good way to take stuff out. I got three of these. Me personally, I hate synchros. I love fusions better because they have better effects. I don't care how hard fusions are to bring out, but they're worth it when you do it. I don't care what nobody says. I can put up an argument. I'll say fusions are way better than synchros, and I can give you many reasons why. Call the Haunt to get stuff back. Turn to tree, blow the uh, monsters up. Two dust tornadoes, like it's just like MST, since this one got banned, you, you need a little bit of backup. Since tuners are weak in general sometimes, and Synchro decks usually have a lot of weak monsters in there where you can't defend yourself, I run three Synchro's armors. Like I said, I hate Synchro's, I really do. I just use them in backup um, spots in my extra deck. Reckless Greed for now until there's a better draw power card that comes out. Okay, extra deck. We got one Majestic Dragon, two Stardust Dragons, one Majestic Red Dragon. I can get these. I got. I can get these guys out pretty fast depending on how my deck plays out. What my hand looks like. Two Red Dragon Arch Fiends. He's still a good dragon. White Rose Dragon for field clearance. 
three junk warriors. One of the easy synchros to make next to Armory Arm. He, he gets pumped for every level 2 or lower monster in the field. Permanently until he's removed from the field. Two junk archers. He's basically a synchro version of Destiny Hero Doom Lord and Chaos Sorcerer and Blood was a Soldier. He does the same thing except for he can attack when his effects are used. And the monster comes back at the end phase. And one of my favorite synchros in this deck is the Junk Destroyer. Basically he's really good at clearing the field depending on how many non tuners you use in a synchro signing. Alright, that's been Majestic Kids. I will be trying to post up another deck of mine. I'm not sure which one yet. It'd probably either be Dead Heroes or probably a Destiny Hero deck. I don't know. But right, peace YouTube. Take care of yourselves. Subscribe. And I'll catch y'all later.